Good afternoon. Today we're playing some Jeff. Um, I've been playing with the card a lot <coughs> in quite a few different builds and I like it. I think he's pretty good. Um, I had... I've been sort of experimenting a lot because I think the, the deck I've been running is kind of missing something and I feel like having seen other people play Stegron, it could be Stegron, so obviously we're, we're a few tokens short of a Stegron, but maybe maybe that'll be it, but there's some good cards coming out next month, so I kind of want to save tokens for that. So um, <clears throat> we're going to focus on one deck today. I've been playing a lot of different builds, and I had to mix things up because of Sandbar. I'm so glad that Sandbar is no longer the hot location because that was an awful 24 hours. Um, so we're going to start with this Surfer deck. <clears throat> so originally... Um, we were kind of doing like a very different sort of thing with Jeff and we were sort of focusing more on like Goose and Juggernaut and Storm for like disruption and then there was some other disruption stuff in there um, in my last video I actually kind of go through the build but what we're like looking to do here is something similar so we're looking to lock down location with Storm we're also looking to lock down location with Goose Cosmo is good as well because it stops them playing cards they want to play um, and then also Professor X for lockdown so we're basically looking to just deny space um, that's why we've got cards like Titania and Jug in here as well, uh, which are really good for obviously manipulating where the opponent can play cards. Um, and then we were finding like that the reach wasn't great. So with this particular build, we've got Silver Surfer in here. And to kind of enable a big turn six where we play multiple cards, we've got Sarah. Um, and it kind of just it kind of just plays itself. Like it's not a great deck. It's not a bad deck. Last video, I think I finished on like 135, and I was. Aiming to get to 200 this season, but work's kind of taken priority a little bit, um, and things have slowed down. So we've been playing with Jeff, and it's like, I think, I think it's good, but I'm, I, I was having a lot of problems with like aggressively snapping, and I think if you played me over the last three or four days, I've made some really bad snaps because the power level of this deck and the reach is sort of all over the place, and I think like. I don't know how to operate a deck like this yet. I haven't I haven't learned properly. Uh, I think we want a goose, right? No one's playing Chen Chi anymore. The one thing I will say about this is that like you do really, really struggle um, against uh, against like Dark Hawk decks at the moment because um, Goose obviously stops anything that's 4, 5, or 6, but if they play Zabu, it knocks it down to 3, so you can actually play it into the Goose. Um, so I do actually have another version of this that uses, uh, uses that, uh, to its advantage, shall we say. Okay, I just want to do this. That's unfortunate. Oh, maybe not. Wow. Rough. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a junk deck or a Patriot deck, but... I think last turn we want to play Juggernaut. Um, what's his face? Uh, Surfer. So I th I think we're going to do this. This gives us a lot of flexibility because we can move the Jeff as well. I, I kind of want to try and keep priority as well because I want to get a nice juggernaut off because if it's like Wong Hazmat, if I can bounce the Hazmat across, it's obviously a lot better for us. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Wow. We're gonna lose mid because uh, he's gonna, what's it called? Um, he's gonna get the, uh, Thudge, what's the word? Um, He's going to get the Luke, well, the Luke Cage effect. Um, 
But yeah, so here if he plays like Wong plus uh, Hazmat, it will split the two up. Which probably is quite relevant. I think it's good enough to win. I think it's good enough to win because if he only gets one hazmat tick, I think we're good. <sighs> Polaris. Damn. Man, if we'd knocked the other way. <sighs> I stand by that play. I think that was really good. There was a 50 50 there. If we'd knocked his hazmat over, we would have won. But I was pretty convinced it was Hazmat Wong, so that's quite a cool Hazmat. Oh well. You can you can see where we're going with this though, I'm sure. And like you can kind of see some of the weaknesses already. Um I don't I don't like massively love this surfer build, but I think it's got I think it's got some potential. And I do really like the concept of the deck. It's just kind of missing something. And I think, like, Stegron is genuinely going to be a really good card for it. Maybe even, like, with Stegron, it might even be worth trying it out with Kingpin as well. Okay. Kind of wanted to snap there, I'm not going to lie. But this is what I was saying about in the intro is I've just been incredibly greedy with the snaps. Camitage is a card. Okay. He's got Pryo is the only problem here. Nice. I think we'll just jug. Okay. Interesting use of Enchantress, but I guess he doesn't really have any other choice. Uh, sure. I think we'll snap on this. We can play into mid really easily. We've got Mr. Fantastic plus Polaris and Silver Surfer. I guess the thing we're most scared of here is probably getting uh, shang chi Yeah, so I reckon we're probably getting shang chi would here. Uh, this deck doesn't have anything that can reach into Sanctum, does it? But let's say he killmongers, he's going to go up to 13 left. So this goes up to 16 and then plus an extra 6. That seems pretty good to me. Shang-Chi. I mean, it's fine. I'm still still really happy with that play. Um, you see, this is why you need to add in a couple of spicy cards to mix things up. Because if he just, like, played the exact same bounce deck everyone was playing but threw in a Mr. Fantastic instead of Killmonger, he would have just won that, just flat out. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a good way to think, but I just think when you're playing a 12-card deck and when you're playing a meta deck, it is kind of important to flex a couple of cards because everyone's playing the same thing, you know what I mean? Uh, where are we? Let's do this goose. I think it'd be really cool to... Oh, I don't have enough boosters. Let's do this storm. <laughs> Look at that, we might even get a new series four. Nope, oh, 100 tokens, brilliant. Sure. We'll upgrade her a couple more times. Do, do, do. 
start of a new season next week, which is really exciting. I can't actually remember what the season pass card is. Isn't it the Guardians of the Galaxy season? I know everyone's getting Kitty Pride for free, which is great. I'm gonna have to Google it. I feel really stupid. I feel like I should definitely know what the uh, pass card is. Uh, oh, it is Nebula. Oh, okay. Might be interesting. Wait, what? Have, have they like... Ch oh no, Nebula is a 1-1. One, one. I tell you what though, like next week is going to be a really good week to be playing Killmonger 100%. I have a pretty funny feeling. I think this is probably Galactus. So. Ooh, can he Galactus this turn? I've got reveal as well. This is so poop. Like. This Fisk Tower is actually really annoying. Oh no, Goblin. Okay. Wait, does that make a sound when you Fisk Tower? Oh wow, it does. <laughs> Okay, this 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 is like a losing play if he doesn't Galactus, but if he does, we win. Nice. Oh, easy game. Should have snapped, man. Should have snapped. But then if it was Doc Ock, it would have been a horrible massacre. So. Pretty sure the Wolverine just dies, dies now, right? Yeah, rough. Nice, GG man. But yeah, everyone's getting Kissy Pride for free, and also everyone's getting, well not everyone, but Battle Pass cards are one drop, so Killmonger time for sure. Two really good, you know, like I really do want Stegron for this deck, but at the same time, High Evolutionary and uh, Living Tribunal come out next month, and I feel like there's two cards to really, that are really good to spend tokens on. I think there's a lot of interesting cards coming out next month. So Howard the Duck is kind of like, I think like how the Duck's kind of like is going to fall into the same sort of category as like Zatu, right? Like he's going to have some use. He's going to be kind of niche, but I wouldn't spend six K tokens on him. I think if you got him from a chest, you'd be like, okay, cool, I'll play it. And when he drops down to series three, he'll be all right. Like I think there is obviously some use for it with like good synergy with like Jubilee and Iron Lads, but like um, I don't, I don't think it's. That good at the moment. Nice. Yeah, it should be a good season. I'm really, really excited for the Living Tribunal. That, that, that's probably my favourite card that's coming out soon. I've been waiting for that one for a while. High Evolutionary is cool. I think you just kind of have to get it. I don't know, it is cool, but at the same time, it's kind of, kind of like... It is a bit one-note, because obviously it does just... Um, where it just gives abilities to cards with no abilities, it's kind of like... Ironically, kind of one note. Okay. So, this deck in general does really struggle against... Uh, what's it called? Uh, ramp decks. At least this incarnation does. So, part of the... Oh, it's a discard. Okay. Eh, discard's kind of hit or miss. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of want to play Cosmo, but I really don't want to risk it. It might get danger roomed, but like I think we just have to take the risk. Wind, 
Well, this is this is all taking a turn. <laughs> Don't get that trims. Okay, nice. I think we can kind of just win this, to be honest. I already thought this was like I thought this was ramp. Then I thought it was discard. Now I realise it's probably just someone playing like tier one and two cards. I think we'll um, we'll save the Jeff for the last turn. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yo, okay, I guess we just play Mr. Fantastic and hope it doesn't get killed. Man, some guy absolutely destroyed me the other day. I can't remember his name, but he was playing Ramp and he played Wave, but Titan was there, so he could play a six. Um, into a goose because it went down to four and then it went down to three because of Titan. I don't think I've ever felt so violated in all of my life. Uh, I think this is good enough. He might just pass. No. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I would have lost that anyway, right? No, I wouldn't have lost that anyway. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I got way too into my story about uh, how I'm. Uh... Oh, I should have bumped him. I got way too into my story about how I got got rolled, and then I just made like the most basic mistake. Shit, man. Okay, this is gonna be the last one for today. I just wanted to just wanted to get something out there before balance changes and Kitty Pride and everything. Man, is this tower? This is like four games in a row. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, plus buy for us. This could be really good for us. Oh my goodness gracious me, what the fuck? <laughs> this is so jarring, man. Um, god, I don't even know how to play this. This is really bad for us. Uh, I hope we get to draw Storm, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is looking like a uh, surrender, I'm not going to lie. I mean, sure, I think we're just going to have to try and, like, hardball him. If he plays like Sandman here, I think we're out. That hella splash, she looks pretty upset, I'm not going to lie. Spider-Woman. Okay. Jarring that Warrior Fools triggers second, right? Oh no, Warrior Fools doesn't trigger second. Okay. Right, well, we're gonna lose Mr. Fantastic. That's inevitable. I think we shall just do. I think we just gotta go for this, really. Okay, one. Oh, that's so annoying. This is everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong here. Yeah, I'm out. I if if we'd managed to get that Cosmo onto the one, we might be all right. But we just got nothing left. Ouch. Okay, I don't want to leave on that one. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. Fuck me. I am determined to make this deck work, so expect to see it again in the future, with with a lot of different shells. Like, I just think there's something to it, and I think at the moment people are playing slower decks. But I feel like if Jeff had come out like a week earlier when like Hit Monkey first came out, he, this would have destroyed. But I'm sure someone was playing something similar. But Jeff really does tie it together quite well. Okay. We're just going to storm mid. Wind, my hand. 
This seems like a pretty rudimentary uh, ongoing deck to me. Kind of tempted to just Professor X, but I know I probably shouldn't. I think we actually stand more chance of winning left, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. It truly was one of the players of our time. This is tough. He's got reveal as well. Could just do this. He might just spectrum left, right, even. I guess if he spectrum rights, this just. Well, this just. Does this beat spectrum? I don't think so. You know what? Last video, we'll go for it. Last video, last game. Ah. Uh, well, he managed to get the fill. Fair. Rough, man. Rough. Should have Professor X, right? Anyway, that'll do for today. <sighs> rough one, rough one. Well, a couple of days to go in the new season, and I look forward to climbing to infinite again. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys in the next one.